Now the body action is the engine room of the golf swing. The arm hand and club are the steering wheel. We want the engine room to repeat, repeat, repeat. Never miss a beat. How are we going to achieve that? Well, we're going to achieve that by saying that, think about the, the golf swing logically. It only takes one and a half seconds to hit a golf shot from start to finish. Now, when we play around the golf, we probably only hit 40 full shots. There's only 18 holes out there. We hit a lot of chips and putts, but we probably only hit 40 full shots. So if you multiply 40 by one and a half seconds, it's only 60 seconds. So you've only done one minute's work on the golf course and the thing that you're trying to improve, which is your body action. So when you go out and practice then, you might hit 200 balls. 200 multiplied by one and a half seconds, it's only 300 seconds, so that's five minutes. So I know for a fact that if you were able to just give me 15 minutes a day, you would improve your golf swing massively because I can give you exercises that you can do, which will really mean that it's more than playing a full round of golf and hitting 200 balls. Because what happens to most people is they go out and hit balls and all they do is react to the shot. There's never any consistency in what they do. So they produce what I call find it, lose it, find it, lose it. And we have a lot at our range, people walking past at night, oh, I found it. And we know for a fact that when they come back tomorrow, they're going to have lost it. So they have not developed anything. They've not developed good body action. They've not developed good balance. They've not developed good arm hand and club movement. They've not developed anything consistently. So we want your body action to be really, really consistent. And I talk to Henrik Stenson all the time. And one thing that's improved his golf swing is really doing simple body exercises. But remember, your body action in the golf swing is a three-dimensional movement. We are three-dimensional, so the movement is three-dimensional. And that's what most people forget about the golf swing. They watch a golf swing on the TV screen, watching golf on TV, and all they see is you know, a flat line. They never see the movement within the body. They never see the movement within.